Hey, what's up everyone? Kevin here. In this video, I want to share with you everything you want to wear up the mountain to stay as dry, warm, and safe as possible on a day of snowboarding. When you head up the mountain for a day of snowboarding, you have to deal with the wind, the cold, the wet, and everything else that comes with being in the mountains. But if you dress appropriately, you're going to stay dry and warm and safe and just overall have the best experience snowboarding. So in this video, I'll take you through everything you want to wear to have a successful day on the mountain. Starting out with some of the basics, you want to pick yourself up a beanie. Having a beanie that's a mid-weight, something that's not too warm, but also not too thin, is just going to keep your head warm throughout the day. The one that I have is a Snowboard Pro Camp beanie, link in the description. Next, you want to have a good base layer, top and bottom. This will set you up with a good foundation, something that you're wearing right against your skin that's going to keep you warm and dry. I have a Dekine top and Burton bottom, and between the two of them, they do a really good job of just keeping me dry and warm throughout the day. The materials and base layers are designed to wick moisture away and to keep you warm. Investing in a good base layer is the perfect place to start to keep yourself dry and warm. Snowboard socks is the next thing you want to put on. I think snowboard socks are actually really underrated. They do an amazing job of keeping your feet comfortable the entire day of snowboarding. First, they're long enough so that they come up out of your boot so you don't get any awkward rubbing at the top of your boot. They're also made of materials that are designed to wick moisture away, but also to let moisture escape from your feet while keeping your feet warm. Snowboard pants are also a good investment. The ones that I have are Gore-Tex, and Gore-Tex is designed to keep you as dry as possible. This is really important because if you're sitting on the chairlift, oftentimes you're sitting in snow, or if you're a beginner snowboarder, you may be sitting in the snow as well. So being able to keep yourself dry with Gore-Tex pants can be really important. These pants that I have are more like a shell, so they're not gonna keep you the warmest, but that's what the base layer is designed to do. But most importantly, they're gonna keep your legs dry. A good mid layer is also a good investment to have. I've got a 686 mid layer. This one is really designed to keep you as warm as possible on those colder days. So I'll wear this underneath my jacket. If it's not that cold, I can easily roll it up and put it into my backpack. But having a good mid layer jacket like this is key so that on the colder days, you can put it on. And on the warmer ones, you can just tuck it away into your backpack. Even on days where it starts out warmer, I find myself putting this mid-layer jacket on in the afternoon because once the sun goes down behind the mountain, then the temperature really drops and this mid-layer is a lifesaver. Snowboard boots are obviously good to wear snowboarding, but a few things you should look for in terms of warmth and comfort. One is that the outer shell of the boot is actually waterproof. Surprisingly, sometimes snowboard boots aren't that waterproof, so look out for that. And you can also tell by the thickness of the boot how warm it's going to be. Some cheaper boots are really thin, so you know your feet are going to be cold. So something to be aware of when buying snowboard boots. On cold or windy days, I always wear a face mask or balaclava. This one is black strap and it's a thin face mask, but really does the job of keeping my neck and face warm on those cold or windy days. This is great too because it goes over your head and it doesn't move throughout the day. So you don't have to adjust it like you would a scarf or anything like that. You just put it on your head and it stays in place. Snowboard goggles are also key for protecting your eyes from the sun, but also from the wind and snow as well. When you're riding, you want to have the snowboard goggle flush against your face and the foam is really going to help to prevent the wind from going in. So having goggles that fit well, that have a quality lens and sit flush to your face is really important. Next, you wanna grab yourself a quality pair of mittens. In my opinion, mittens are just warmer than gloves because all your fingers are together. And a few things to pay attention with mittens. One is the weight of the mitten. So these ones are a mid weight. For myself, I find my hands don't get that cold, so I don't need overly warm mittens. But if your hands run hot or cold, you want to pick yourself up a pair of mittens that are either warmer or cooler. How waterproof the mittens are important as well, but know that the more waterproof they are, the more expensive they'll be, so something to be aware of. But in my opinion, it's definitely worth it to invest in a quality pair of mittens because if your hands do get cold, you're going to have to go inside and potentially miss runs. So having good mitts will keep you on the slopes longer. 
The final thing to keep you warm and dry in the mountain is having a good snowboard jacket. The main thing I look for in a jacket is just that it fits well so that you can move freely in the jacket and it doesn't restrict you from snowboarding in any way. My jacket is kind of like a mid-weight so it does keep me fairly warm but it's not overly warm so I can put layers underneath it on those colder days. This jacket is also 10k so it's not Gore-Tex but so far has done a good job of keeping me dry. But when looking for a jacket, keep in mind the weather where you snowboard. If you snowboard someplace that's really cold, you may want to get something that's insulated. If you snowboard someplace that is really wet, maybe consider getting Gore-Tex. So it really depends on the climate that you snowboard in. Finally, for safety, invest in a good helmet. I've got the Gyro Ledge Helmet. It's lightweight, comfortable, and just does the job of keeping my head safe. Some other things you can get for safety is impact shorts, elbow pads, knee pads, and wrist guards. But it's really up to you how many different things you wanna to wear to keep yourself safe. Amazing, so that's everything that you wanna to wear to keep yourself warm, dry, and safe on the mountain. If I missed anything, or if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll also put links to all my gear down in the description if you wanna check it out. If you like this video, subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp. Thanks for watching, have fun out there snowboarding, and I'll see you in the next video.